Hello, Greg Pound for Sheriff 2012. I just want to make another informative documentary on the corruption and um, what's going on in this county and why you should vote for Greg Pound and get behind getting him elected. And um, I'd like to bring to your attention the, um, the corruption that's going on in this county. It's totally out of control. Um, they've convinced the people that the people are the problem when they're actually, they create the problem and then they want to solve the problem. And they're the professionals of creating problems and then blaming the people for the problem and then their solution to the problem is to get you in the court system or in jail. And that's how they get their job security and their money. Now, I've been um, working with trying to warn against this corruption that's going on in Pinellas County and basically on the end of defending families um, in, on the Juvenile Justice um, Board and also the Council for Pinellas County. And um, what I would like to explain to you is what I have seen, the, the love of money as it says is the root of all evil and what people are doing for money who have more money than they're going to spend in their lifetime. It's just a, it's a major problem with corruption. They can, you can call it, it's organized and it's criminal what's going on. And so, for instance, my mother-in-law has been the comptroller. Comptroller controls the grant money that's coming into the county, runs the books, the federal books. She has been for over 30 years covering up the laundering of literally of millions of dollars going out of this county into the pockets of the people running the county and um, in, in hiding it in the books, in the massive books of Pinellas County government. And once you see how these people operate, it's just, um, it's really criminal. And, and this is what's destroying us as a people and as a nation now is this greed. This, this greed and this corruption is just eating us up like a cancer. Remember, a cancer is something, is a cell that refuses to die to itself and it begins to eat everything up and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and it turns into a tumor and it begins eating up the internal parts of the body. And so what we have now is we have this cancer in our society for this love of pleasure more than lovers of truth and justice to the destruction of us as a people and a society. So what my appeal is, is as I war against this, this cancer trying to trying to reverse it, that I have people coming against me saying um, I'm anti-government, I'm against the military, I'm against the law enforcement, which is totally insane. It's, um, it would almost, it's, and this is the way they do it. They, they, they're professionals that taking what is just and right and making it look, look bad. And um, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with an organized crime system in this county where the people believe because they look um, clean on the outside um, that these people are, are righteous. It's, it's, really, it's really a sad thing. That's why, that's why in, in the Bible it says you're not to judge people according to appearance. You make a big mistake when you judge people based upon how they look. And that's where we have this major problem, where we start judging people based upon how they look instead of um, who they are, their character. So what I would like to bring to you to mind is I was reading in the summer paper here just the other day this um, uh, prescription problem that we're having, the prescription drug epidemic. Now, do you think it's an accident? If you would go to my, my other um, YouTube account or my other email account called um, rescuemykids.com and look at the corruption of putting, stealing people's children, putting the children and the parents on drugs. DCF comes in, steals people's children, put the parents and the children all on drugs. And this is how they're getting all this money. The drug epidemic, now Pinellas County is the number one um, pharmaceutical outlet in the country larger than Detroit, Chicago, Philadelphia, Los Angeles. Little Pinellas County is num the number one drug outlet in the United States of America. 
And not only that, all the people in the county are on drugs. They've got the, everyone drugged up, and who's getting rich? The doctors and the courts. Now, my appeal is to the people running the system. We have organized crime that's totally out of control. And if you don't believe that the chief deputy, um, Gratori, who now is the deputy, is not there, he's there for one purpose, and that's to cover up. To cover up the corruption that's been going on in the sheriff's department and in the courthouse. And you deputies and you attorneys that, are, that believe in our system and believe that we need to clean this up because it's out of control. It's totally out of control. The whole system now is out of control. The corruption's out of control. It's just, and what I'm asking for is Pinellas County to understand if we don't get someone in there who cannot be bought, sexed, someone who cannot be manipulated, who understands the Constitution, who understands how things are to be done in order to clean this thing up. We're just going to, it's going to get worse. The problem, the corruption is just going to keep eating away until we're in, 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 a, in a total, um, in, sitting in a Nashi. So what I'm asking for is for you to take seriously about who I am and what I'm trying to do and, um, and, get them, and getting this cleaned up. I mean, once we have, the people are getting tired. People are getting tired. The men in law enforcement are tired. The whole system is under judgment. Now, it's amazing how Israel was brought up against another nation. And, and the Lord God used, he, all through the Bible, all through this Bible here, God uses one man to change the whole thing, clean the whole thing up. David, for instance, he used a little boy who had no, had no, no he used a little boy to, to change the whole nation, to keep them from being totally destroyed because of their sin, because of their fear against this giant that came against them. And this is what we have this giant evil that's coming against us. And it can't change. God uses people just like the adversary, the prince of darkness, uses people. For instance, I was sitting at the courthouse. I, I, went, I, I had a court date. I went to court. It's hard to find a parking spot. I found a parking spot, one parking spot. I pull in the parking spot next to a, a vehicle. And when I come to the, as I'm sitting there getting my paperwork together, two men walk up to the vehicle. And um, I'm sitting there, they can't see me, my windows were, I had this dark tint on the windows on the previous van that I owned. And when the sun would hit it, you couldn't see inside it even if you wanted to. So what happens was that they opened up their, their, the, the back door of their vehicle and I'm watching this whole thing unfold and the gentleman opens up a suitcase, it's just filled with money, stacks, like something you'd see in a bank, not just loose money, stacked money. And I watched the attorney take the money, to, he puts it, he's, he's lines it in his coat. He just, I mean, he had a suit coat that could, to me, it was like something you'd see on television. He gets his coat on, they walk back up to the front of the courthouse, shake hands, he turns around, walks back, and the attorney goes, he goes back into the, into the, uh, back into the system. And, um, I mean, I, I have to ask myself, how much money do you need? How much does it take for you to sell out the truth and justice? With Judas, it was 30 pieces of silver. He sold out the truth for 30 pieces of silver. It's amazing how Christ said, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things he possesses. Life is not found in things or in possessions. That's why the Hebrew word for a whore is one who cannot be satisfied. The more you have, the more you want. You cannot be satisfied. And this is when fathers expose their wives and their, and their children to this, kind of, to this kind of a spirit. Once you do these kind of things, you expose your wife and your children to the exact same spirit, to that whore spirit. Which actually, the word curse means also to one who cannot be satisfied. It's to your destruction. 
How can you have an attorney who probably has, he has so, he has so much, but now he's selling out judges, bailiffs, all these people selling out for more. And they already have more than, they, than they're probably going to spend in their lifetime. If you were to die today, how much are you going to take with you? It says in Hebrews 9.27, there's a pointed unto man wants to die, then after this comes to judgment. And it's, Christ said, For what shall profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? And so what I'm appealing to you about is our country's in trouble. Our country, our judicial system, our sheriff's department, everybody knows, listen, the corruption is so out of control now. And what's going to take, the only reason this can be going on, as it's been stated in history, is for the, is for the righteous people to do nothing. For people who know what's right and to take a stand is the only, and it's, this is the only way evil can triumph, is because these people refuse to stand up. So I'm asking those in the sheriff's department, I mean, the deputies' lives are being put on the line. Oh, these people are committing this crime for this more and more money. This drug problem we have in this county is being created by the people running the county. I mean, this, I mean, these pain clinics and all this stuff, there's money being exchanged through the system in the, sums, in the sums of millions of dollars. I mean, and it's internally eating up as a cancer, our, as a people in a society. It's destroying our young people. It's destroying our whole system. And so what I'm asking for you to do is to help me to get elected. I, I, need, I need to get my name on the ballot. I need people who, who are serious about cleaning this up. How much more do we have to lose as a nation? I, I, it says because one of the number one thing that's destroying our families and destroying us as a country is this thing called divorce. The Bible says that's where I would concentrate. The number one thing is the court system needs to get out of families. They need to get out of the business of messing around with men and women's families. Instead of, they're capitalizing off domestic problems, they take a minor problem, make it into a major, and they destroy the family in the process. And once you destroy that family, you harden the hearts of the father, the harden the hearts of the mother, and harden the hearts of the children. And when you wound the spirit of a child, the Bible says you've, you've, you've caused a problem. You, made, you got yourself in big trouble when you wound the spirit of the children. And it says, in, it, there's a, there's, it says if the hearts of the fathers do not turn back towards the children, it says he's going to smite the men with a curse. He will curse the whole nation. This nation now is under a grievous curse. And if you don't see it, America, if our leaders don't see it, you see what you're doing. You see the ignorance. You see the apathy. You see the condition we're in as a people. And we're hated around the world because of our corruption. And so it needs to change somewhere. Let's just begin in Pinellas County, and once this county sees the change it makes, I mean, this county will flourish. It will, literally, it'll, it'll bloom. Instead of being, instead of being a, um, a tropical illusion, it will become a, a, a tropical paradise. But right now, it's an illusion. You come to Florida, you're going to get raped, robbed, you're going to get... I mean, you're going you're gonna to come here, you're going to end up in the system, you're going to go home on probation, be brought back in violation, and you'll never get out because of the corruption. So I'm asking for your help. Um, Greg Pound for Sheriff. And just look at all the people put on drugs through my YouTube account, um, rescuemykids.com. Listen to these mothers and the drug problems. They, they literally steal people's children and then give them antidepressants to deal with it. And this, it's, it's, it's all... It's all about money. And, and Christ said, For what shall it profit a person if they gain the whole world but lose their own soul? And that's what we're losing. We're losing our sanity as a people and a nation. And um, if you don't see it, it's going to, I don't know how much, how much worse it's going to have to get because you guys know it's out of control. The people running the system, you know it's broken. And so, um, so, I just, if you got any comments, leave it on the comment. Um, 
board on my YouTube account, and I'll, I'll try to respond. Thank you very much.